back at it again. We got to talk about Charles Barkley and the Democrat Party today. Yeah. What Charles Barkley says here is um, it's pretty insane. It's uh, pretty intense. And once again, it proves us right once again. It really does. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. The former president raised a lot of eyebrows with these comments while talking to listen to the audience, a black conservative conference. He said this. I got indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. My, the mugshot, we've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts. When you heard that, what did you think? <sighs> Big sigh. First Big of all, sigh. I'm just going to say this. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. I uh, know, Gil, 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 Gil. You, uh, you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then what? I'm going to bail myself what? out and go celebrate. <laughs> um... No. How about this, Charles? Um, well, I, I guess I should say this. Uh, I, I'm, I'm from the Wisher Brother Woods. We'll say that. How about that? Is that a better way to say it? Is that a more PG way to say it? Um, I'm from the Wisher Brother Woods. So uh, you take a swing. All right. Try it if you want. I would advise that you don't do that. I, I'm not looking for any altercations. I'm not looking to fight, all right? I am peaceful. I don't start nothing. My mama always told me, you better finish it. If I... Don't no, encourage him. Don't encourage him. Okay, but it, go ahead. Seriously. Continue. <laughs> First of all, if I was at that... At that conference, yeah. I'd have got up and walked out. That was an insult to all black people. Because mm -hmm. he's basically just saying... And first of all, black... To, to compare black history where we've been discriminated against to his plight. Yes. Well, first of all, he's a billionaire. Mm -hmm. And they're prosecuting him for stuff he did wrong. They're prosecuting him for stuff he did wrong. And for him to it's compare... It's in the court system, Charles. We have to wait. It's still in the court system. But continue, continue. Well, continue. They, some of the stuff <laughs> is true. They did storm the Capitol. Well, well, yeah. They did say that the, the election was stolen. Those yeah. aren't lies, Gail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are They facts. did say that. They so did Hillary. Hillary said the election was stolen. Uh, 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 what, what's the... Stacey Abrams also said the same thing. So were they wrong? All right. Exactly. Okay. But to compare, I would have got up and walked out mm -hmm. because it's not a fair comparison. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a billionaire. He's had a great life. He's been president of the United States to insult black people who have been discriminated against all these years to put them in the same category... I, I I was just offended. Uh, okay. All right, Charles. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, were you offended by Kamala Harris hosting um, black students at her home recently? Were you offended by that? <laughs> All right, I'm not I'm not gonna play too much of that audio because for obvious reasons. All right, but uh, Mr. Charles Barkley, were you offended by this? Possible. My vice president's black. What you mean I can't do it? When I look out at this group of leaders, I know that the future of our country is bright. Our nation needs you, and I look forward to your continuing leadership. Welcome to the house party at VP. Yeah. So, Mr. Charles Barkley, were you offended by the vice president um, hosting a house party while there's a border crisis going on? 
while we're on the brink of World War III, your vice president was concerned with having a house party with black students. Did that offend you? No. Fair enough. Were you offended when Joe Biden pandered to black folks too? I went to the White House to meet the President of the United States. This was my first time in the White House, so you know I had to come clean. After a quick interview, I got to see around. The White House hosted a Black History Month reception, and your boy had the honor of introducing the President before he spoke. I was so nervous, I was focused on not passing out, but thank God I got through. After, I got a chance to network and meet a lot of great people. This was an experience I will never forget, and who knows, I might just run for President one day. I went to the White House. Well, yeah. I won't even comment on the rest of that, but... um. Were you offended by that, Charles Barkley? No. Oh, man. Shall we continue? And I know some people are going to say, well, you know, black people vote for Democrats. So, yeah, they they should be hosting uh, black people. Well, where was this three years ago? Where has this been the entire time? Now that it's election year, it's election season, now they want to do all this stuff? Now they want to pander to black folks. Now Joe Biden wants to uh, 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 ha have, have a black student at the White House. Now Kamala Harris wants to host a party at, at her house. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. I haven't even gotten to the blatant slap in the face of going to black churches to give political speeches in the lord's house i haven't even touched on that but you know what let, let, let's dive into that let's dive into that so charles barkley are you offended by these democrats going to black churches using black churches as a political statement the lord's house to give a political speech are you offended by that? No, of course not. I, I'm, I'm sure you aren't because it's Democrats that are doing it. So I, I, I bet that doesn't offend you. Well, Charles Barkley, let me ask you this question. Were you offended when Joe Biden brought the black family fried chicken while he sat and ate a burger? Were you offended by that? Well, because... Someone I'm sure you're familiar with was, and he admitted to it. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if we're being fair, if we saw Donald Trump sit down in a black household, eat fried chicken with a father and a son, what would we say? We what? What would we say? What would we say? You know, folks out there would be calling it racist. Facts. You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, it's cool if they do it, but it's a problem if we do it. <laughs> funny how that works, ain't it? Real funny how that works. It's, it's, it's okay if Joe Biden and Kamala pander to black folks. It's okay if Kamala and Biden go out and speak to black folks. But oh my goodness, if Trump does it. Oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, my goodness. He's pandering to black people. But it's OK for Joe Biden to bring a black family fried chicken. That's fine. You know, I, 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 I sincerely do. I, I, I really do. I hope um, Trump does the exact same thing that Biden did. Because it's really going to show the hypocrisy in the media. I want to see Donald Trump sit down with a black family while, while eating some fried chicken and watch the mainstream media go crazy. Watch them go crazy. And I hope Trump exposes them. Y'all didn't say anything when Joe Biden did it, but now it's a problem if I do it. Hold on. What, 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 the, the, there's a double standard going on here. You know, th this is absolutely insane. And first off, and another thing is Charles Barkley wasn't even in the room. He wasn't even in the room with these black folks that were uh, um, attending the um, the conference with Donald Trump. Excuse me. So with that being said, let's 
hear from some of the black people that were in the room. See if they were offended. We're joined now by four black Republicans who were all in the room. Adul Ali, operations director at Frederick Douglass Foundation of North Carolina. Tia Bess, national director of engagement for Moms for Liberty. Kevin McGarry, co-founder of Every Black Life Matters. And Sharice Lane, a student at Florida A&M University. Quick show of hands. Do you believe his comments were in any way racist? Nobody. Okay. Adul, uh, what were your thoughts that night uh, when you heard these comments during the event? It's about time that somebody started telling the truth. I mean, he's only speaking to what some black folks have experienced for a very long time, which is a disastrous justice systems in many cases. And ultimately, we can all see this playing out right in front of our very eyes. I didn't I wasn't offended or didn't feel like anything he said was racist in any way. Uh, former President Trump also made a statement about his mugshot taken as part of his Georgia case. Let's take a listen to that. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts and they sell them for $19 a piece. Kevin, Tia, I want to bring you in here. Do you feel that that comment was in any way off color? Not at all. I mean, you know, the reality is, is that, uh, you know, we see a president that has been prosecuted and persecuted. And a lot of people in the community, especially in the black community, who have felt that there's multi-tiers of justice are seeing that played out in front of their very eyes. And they're saying, yeah, I can relate to this guy. This guy is going through some things that either myself or my family have gone through. And this is a very relatable moment for a lot of people. So seeing this mugshot as a you know as a you know a big you know to the to the media and to the uh political uh pundits is it's a big deal and it, it really does resonate within uh within the community tia want to get your your comments there well no no i agree especially coming from an education perspective you know he didn't say if you're not black you're not black if you don't vote for me you know, he was just stating the truth, and that's what sometimes we need to hear. Oh, eh. I, you know, I, I, I'm happy she brought up the if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black comic. Because, you know, for a moment, I forgot about that one. Charles Barkley, are you offended that this white old man, who at one point in time called black kids roaches, mind you, and that's on tape. All right, we got receipts who at one point in time said Barack Obama is the first clean and articulate mainstream black male. Are you offended that that same guy said that if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black? Let me guess. Let me guess. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let, me, let, me, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. No, you aren't offended because it's Joe Biden and he's a Democrat. He's allowed to say stuff like that. But if, let, let Donald Trump say anything about black people. Oh, my goodness. I'm offended. <sighs> Go ahead and finish your statement. That's what sometimes we need to hear. For too long in politics, we've been lied to. and We need to hear the truth and have someone that we can relate to. Me personally, I don't think that's necessarily um, relating to blackness. But I do think that a lot of black people have gone through um, the criminal justice system and it has been unfair to them. And I think that's what he was saying. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> oh, man. You know the crazy, the, also the crazy thing about all of this <clears throat> with the whole Charles Barkley situation? If that had been a Republican on TV saying something like that, mainstream media would be in a tailspin right it'd be going crazy be going absolutely bonkers over a republican saying exactly what he just said i think hey listen I, I i've said this before i think as republicans we should just start repeating what democrats say say exactly what they say the exact same thing somebody you know of prominence some republican should come out and say exactly what charles barkley just said just in reverse and watch the media go crazy. Watch the hypocrisy play out live on television. Watch it play out. Nobody says anything about Charles Barkley. It's fine. 
It's fine. Is it? If a Democrat says it, it's fine. If a Democrat says, hey, yeah, I'm going to be violent with you if I catch you wearing some Trump merchandise. It's okay. Nobody bats an eye. Oh, but let a Republican say that. It's the end of the world. Oh my goodness, all Republicans are violent and they're, they're extremists. Which goes back to what I had mentioned earlier. It proves a, That also proves a strong point with us Republicans. We've been proven right once again. We aren't the violent ones. We aren't the extremists. We aren't the ones walking around saying, hey, I'm going to punch you. I'm going to be violent with you. I'm going to physically assault you for wearing a darn shirt that I don't like. We're not the ones saying that. It's Democrats that openly say stuff like that. That openly say stuff like that. It's just the wildest stuff ever, but then they point the finger at us and say that we're the violent ones, we're the extremists. Cl another classic example of Democrats doing exactly what they accuse Republicans of doing or being. I, I, I've been saying this for a long time now. Since I began this journey, I, I always mention like one of the things that I've learned along this journey of discovering the truth in politics is that Democrats, one, will throw rocks and hide their hands, right? <laughs> Goodness gracious. But then also they will accuse Republicans of doing and being exactly what they are doing or being right like you just heard there or just saw there really and heard how many times have you heard you know a democrat say republicans are are violent extremist right a lot right but then you hear a democrat say hey I, I, if i catch you wearing this guy's merch i'm going to punch you Where's the where's the videotapes of Republicans saying anything like that? Can't find it, right? Once again, the 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 only real, uh, you know, somewhat violent situation that Democrats can muster up from Republicans is J six. That's all they've got. That's it. We've got all types of situations and circumstances where Democrats are violent or threaten violence. Stuff is ridiculous, man. But as always, y'all let me know your thoughts or your opinions on this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.